In this video, I'm recruiting Flappy Bird in 1 minute versus 10 minutes versus 1 hour. So let's go. And so let's start. Okay, so I'm gonna do drag this here, that, to 0, forever, chain, negative 1, and change y by that. And so then if I forever, wait until base, I'm gonna set 10 till not 1. We only have like 30 seconds left. And now it's working perfectly fine. I have to make the pipes. Oh my god. Pipe, pipe. Oh my god, that's not a pipe. That, then we're gonna do, uh, god, what am I doing? Go 2, 300, go to 0, and then forever by negative 10. Okay, I think I just got it. Okay, I get it. Fine, chillax. Hey yo, we go crazy. Alrighty gamers, now we get 10 minutes, so let's go. This time I'm actually gonna make my own sprite, so I, yeah, I'm not gonna use this little boy. And my absolute favorite thing to use is square. I don't know why, but I love it. So we're just gonna use it. I'm gonna make him round because it makes him look a lot cleaner, you know, better. There we go. I'm gonna make a different color. I don't know, like yellow probably-ish. Gotta add eyeballs. And this time I'm gonna make triangle. There we go. And little bro needs some eyes, so. Wait, what even? Oh, it's at five. Okay. Bro, why does he look like that? And then something like that looks alright. And then I'm gonna go back here, make the box so it doesn't look all screwed up up there now we chilling dude and i'm gonna just name him layer because i love my attention to detail even though this is not accurate i still like making it anyway do that get rid of him i'll make that outline like that, that and like 30 percent transparent put it to the back and i just like having shadows i don't know why they just make them look cool now this is layer. and now i can make the pipe and we have seven minutes left so we're chilling i'm gonna go for a one of five like usual i'm gonna make it yellow i'm gonna make it brighter though we're gonna go down here oh god we're gonna go here like this and then gonna go up make one of like that little ledge thingy my bobber put it like that something like that looks all right make another one that's slightly bigger and longer and that looks all right maybe i'll just scale her down a little bit okay yeah that looks fine i guess i'm gonna make you a bit darker because you're like underneath everything i'm gonna make you a little bit darker as well and now i have to make you round because i have to make everything round or else i get like triggered in a way I have to do the same with this edge right here. Everything has to look like toyish in a way. And come out of here. We're gonna make a little bit more attention to detail. We're gonna make this part lighter. Oh, you can't even see that. Okay. Um, I may as well just like make it white. Probably can't even tell it, but like whatever. Sometimes it's the stuff you can't see that matters. All right. Uh, make it lighter and go with that. And one right here. That's lighter and hurt. There we go. Attention to detail. Finish. Name it. Pipe. And also pipe down here. Now I'm going to get all you right click duplicate like that. And I'm going to change you all that. And this have you have no outline. I'm gonna make you go to the back. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Now we're gonna go over here like this. Go too bad. Now we have a bit of an outline. Perfect. Now we only have four minutes and 40 seconds. So let me just hurry up real quick. Oh, like that. Boom. Wrong way. Boom. Like that. And boom. No, boom. Over here. Like that looks okay. Now we'll just center it. And maybe I need to make it a little bit wider. And yeah, we should be chilling now. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the player. I'm gonna make Y speed for him. And now one start. Set Y speed. I'm gonna get click off that. Set Y speed to zero. Forever. Change Y speed. I'm gonna change Y speed by negative one. Then change Y by Y speed. And then when I start forever, wait until E space. And I'm gonna set Y speed to 10. I click duplicate, get rid of that, and do not key space, and then put that at the bottom. And so now we have to do this one. And when I start, I'm gonna forever wait a second, create a clone of myself. When I start as a clone, I'll also hide and then show. I'm going to go to x 300, y hit negative 75 to 75, something like that. And then repeat until, then wait until. No, then I have to do repeat this until. I have to do a bit of debugging, so I have to put down x position. I have to do say. Where the hell is this say at? Say x position, so I have to check it up here. Oh, it's not gonna continue. Okay, I have to make it go more. Hold on. There we go. Boom. Negative 10. And now if we go up here stops at negative 261 so repeat until less than x positions less than negative 259 and it's going to repeat this until now we should have an entire game like that i'm going to get rid of this i'm going to make it go at like negative five or negative four perfect now i have to make it so you die so wherever when i do where's the friggin start when i start forever if touching pipe then stop all and what else do i need to do uh what else do i have to do i have to score uh, uh -huh. variable called score i'm gonna set score to zero at the beginning and then when i start as a clone forever if equal x position equals zero then it's going to change score by one and then wait until not exposition and so now i should have an entire game and i'm just make a quick little background i'd use some like yellow maybe make it like really light like that perfect now this should be the entire game but what else could i add to the game if i wanted to um i honestly don't even know what to add at this point let's just see if it works I have to make myself start at okay uh, right. go to zero zero and now we have one second left and there we go so let's check out the game I don't even think it's possible to get through these. It's not even possible to get through these. Hold on, let me just say whatever. This is what you get for the 10 minute game. And so the hour begins now. I'm gonna delete Scratchy and I'm gonna make a button because I'm actually gonna start off with the title screen for once. I'm gonna make it 10, round off the sides like usual. And that looks perfect. But instead, I'm gonna make it all yellow like last time. I think it looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to add some text. I'm gonna make pixel because pixel's the best one. Black, start, put it in the middle, I guess. And then we could do back. I don't know, forward, except I'm gonna make this 30% opacity. And so something like that looks all right. Make it outline of 10, grab this, make it lighter. Okay. God. And I'll just come back when I finish the button. 
So now I'm finished both of the buttons. Now I can get to the coding. Hold on. Emit button. And now when Griff I click, I'm gonna broadcast the message restart. And then when I receive restart, I'm going to repeat one time. Make a clone for this by only button ID. Change button ID by one. Make a block button start. Run with that screen refresh. I'm gonna put actually all that in there. And then when I receive restart, put that there. And now when I start as a clone, if equal one button ID, switch to costume, start one. I'm also going to grab this out of my backpack, which is basically just like my default buttons and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna set to like negative 75. Change this to start two and this to one. Change this to like 50. This one 300. And now I think we should take a look at the- Actually, hold on. Then I need to hide and then I'm gonna have to show. So now if we take a look right before I hide that though. Okay, that's, that's not centered at all. I'm gonna go, go to zero, zero. Change this to like 200 and 225. So now it doesn't want to show up. What the heck? Oh, because I don't set it to zero. Set button ID to zero. And now it should work. There we go. Now the button's all set up. Perfect. And now I click duplicate. Get rid of everything inside. Except for the if button ID equal one. Get rid of that. Put in when this right click. And you know, I'll be back when I'm finished the menu. Alright, so we have the menu done here. If I click it, it disappears and it's gonna start. And now I'm gonna make the player, naming it player. And I like the last idea of it being a triangle, so I'm probably gonna make a triangle again. Give him an outline of pen, make him yellow, maybe slightly that. That looks good, I guess. And I will give him an eyeball. Actually, no, I don't know what I should give him. This is way too big. Okay, I think I have to change him to like an outline of like five. Okay, an outline of five, it has to be then. And then give him the eyes again. Yeah, that looks whatever. You know what? I really don't like it. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Make him have an outline of ten again, except I'm gonna make him bigger. That's massive. Just keep him down here. And I'm going going to just take some of that make it brighter now i'm gonna make it a movement so okay now as we can see here we have the game start and he starts but it would be good if we can make him like look in the direction so we may as well just try that there we go. Now it's smooth. It's perfect. But now I think I'm going to get rid of that and make the pipes finally. Name it. Pipes and pipes. And I'll just be back when I'm finished. Okay now the pipes are done. I'm gonna begin the code and you've already seen it so I'll just skip that. Okay, so now that I've finished it, I'm gonna make for all the sprites player sticks. I love making these. And then equal player state equal dead. Because I'm gonna go into the player. And when we start, I'm gonna set player state to menu. Because it's gonna be in the menu at first. And then when we start the game, I'm gonna send to player state alive. Now I should probably make a background. So let me just get coding. What should I name the game? Triangle trip. That's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna make it so you can die. So forever. If touching pipes, then broadcast dead. And now I have to do set layer state to dead. Now I can only do all this at layer state equal alive. And so then I'm just gonna when I receive death, I'm just gonna set my speed to 10. And then I'm going to wait like 0.5 seconds. And the beginning, I'm going to set ghost effect to zero. I'm gonna chain ghost by 10 10 times. And I may as well just like hide myself. And so now if we go back in here. Yeah, so I need to make the pipe stop moving. Okay. And then I also have to do right click duplicate, take the if player is alive. Now I have to do if equal live player state. And so now we should have it working. So if I do this and this and this, boom, now he did. I'm also gonna have to make the player always go to the front. So go to front. Now I have to work on the restart button. Right click duplicate and I'll be back on the finish. Okay, so now that's finished, I'm gonna make it up at the very end. Alright, this video is going to take forever to edit, so let me just summarize the last couple of minutes. I had a bug which I fixed, and then I basically added sound effects and music to everything, and I made a title screen, and then I made a score and a world record, and I just finished in time. That being said, here's the finished game, Triangle Trip. Like and sub if you made it this far.